Hi everyone, um, we're here, Justin, Jimmy, Mark Bateson, and me, presented by Camp Life, sponsored by Just Boxing and Bateson Promotions. Um, previously, due to COVID, he went being cancelled, and also Justin's medical card not being passed. Uh, this event has been cancelled for three times. 25th February, is it finally happening, gents? 100%, 100%. everything's on, all the, um, got the go ahead. All the documentation has been signed, contracts have been signed, and you know we're both ready to go. How did the f fight first came about? I heard some stories that you guys made this happen in a coffee shop. Yeah. Is that true? Um, we was over in uh, Brig House. Uh, mine and James' friend, he owns his, uh, his own coffee shop over there. All the partners, good karma coffee, so we'll get that in there. And um, we basically, we sat there, we're on a bike, we're talking boxing. And then we just sort of like looked at each other and I think I'd, I said or you said, well, me and you, let's get it on, you know what I mean? That it, that one it. And then from then on, I think it got put to Mark, obviously my manager, and um, from there it all just kind of escalated. How long do you guys know each other? Oh, so... Just through the boxing circuit. Yeah, through the circuit. Through and the circuit. Been around similar gyms, you Bumped know. into each other in gyms, never sparred each other, but probably seen each other spar once or twice. Right. And then, obviously knew, knew of each other, sent a few messages to each other and stuff. And then we bumped into each other, like Justin said, in uh, Good Karma Coffee. Yeah. In Brig House, great place, great set of lads. We have to get that in there. And then uh, we just said, look, we're both chasing this title. We're both unbeaten. We're both from West Yorkshire and, uh, you know, what makes a bit, a, makes you a can't, get, fight, it? can't get a better, better, better fight than Local this, yeah. Local derby, mm. it's one of them, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah. it's uh, Leeds <clears throat> versus Halifax, whatever, however you want to put it, local derby, and um, right. we'll get it on. Jimmy, you're one of the oldest pro undefeated fighters in England. Yeah. Do you feel that age could affect the outcome of the fight, or are you feeling fresh and ready? Feeling really fresh. Um, I'm not normal. Well, no boxers normal, are they? We're not normal human beings. Yeah. Um, but I started late in life at bo in boxing, so I believe um, miles. I don't have many miles on the clock. Right. You know, very very low miles. I'm fresh. I've always eaten well. Look after myself. Um, so it won't have a. It won't make any difference in this fight. Um, I train hard, like I say, I eat well, and uh, like I say, I'm not a normal human being, you know, you, you'll, you'll see uh, the best of Jimmy first on uh, 25th of February. At what, what age did you start the boxing? Um, I walked into a gym when I was 27, wow. um, and then I had my first amateur fight at Halifax Boxing Club, uh, they're on my sleeve here, they're on my arm, um, I had 26 amateurs, got Yorkshire champion, national semi-finalist, beat the best that they had in uh, Liverpool, um, and yeah, so and, and then I, I got to 36 and I thought, you know, I need to turn professional here. You know, a lot of people were telling me you've got this style of beating yeah. 25 year olds, 22 year olds. Um, and yeah, you know, it was, uh, I'd have regret it. I didn't want any regrets in life. So um, yeah. yeah. yeah and here great. we are, here we are, and we're going strong. Yeah. Nice, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, which gym are you boxing out of at the moment? Um, Dickies is my main training where I train. Uh, Dickies Gym in Batley. Um, yeah. And Mark Hurley is my main trainer. He's uh, very intricate uh, at what he does. It's all about detail. And he has changed me as a fighter. But my manager, Chris Aston, as well. Um, both of those two guys, I do a lot with Chris Aston as well who works on the mental side of things, he's, right. he's tough as all boots, he's Chris, fantastic guy. Um, so that, those are my gyms, yeah. So Dickie's gym in Northern Fitness, sorry, in Huddersfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Justin, what about your camp? It's a big weekend for your camp, not only for you, but also Zahid is fighting for a title. What's the atmosphere in the camp? And you coached by Keith. Yeah, like, we've both got things separate on our minds, you know, obviously I want to win on Friday and, and Zaid wants to win on the Saturday. Um, I'm fighting, obviously, Jimmy for the Central Area Lightweight title on Friday the 24th and on Saturday the 25th Zaid will fight Razak Najib for the Central Area Super Bantamweight title. Um, so it's a massive weekend for us, 
and as obviously as a team because we can you know we can do the double you know and obviously for his coach as well he can have two central area champions in in, in two days yeah. so it's all systems go you know we're both fully concentrated and we know we've got big uh, big tasks ahead but you know we know we can do it amazing yeah how long ago did you return to Uh believe it or not it was on one of Mark's shows um, I think 2009 believe it was I remember I boxed a kid called uh, Sid Razak um, so what we're in now obviously 20 22 so many many years ago I had a bit of a stop start career bit of a jack the lad as I've explained before um, but now this last six years I've dedicated my life to boxing um, you know many highs many lows more lows than highs but I believe obviously on the 24th of February that all them lows will pay off you know and I will be crowned central area champion yeah Mark first memory Signing Justin, how did you find out about him as a fighter? I didn't really have him then. I uh, was a promoter, I was promoting Justin. He right. was actually boxing out of Manners boxing gym. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he sold, sold a lot of tickets, good to put him on the show. You know, I've known Justin a long, long time. Like I've known Jimmy a long yeah. time. Two great lads, they're like family, you know, when yeah. you're in and out of different gyms, Halifax, Huddersfield, Leeds, you know, I see him all the time. Dewsbury, Bradford, keep bumping into him. And we, we all get on really well. Yeah. And at the end of the day, the best of pals, and when that bell goes, that'll go out at Windy, and the best man will win. Yeah, yeah. That's it, there's no... <coughs> I, I, I think a lot of people know that there's no, what do you call it, is it animosity? Mm. There's no animosity here, you know what I mean? We're just two kids. Uh, two fighters what want to put on a good fight and we both want to move on to bigger and better things you know so we believe that obviously the winner will do that um, but there's no badness there's no I don't know there's none of this where we're going to be slagging each other off and this and that or try to cause a fight or an upset we'll just do the talking or let us fist do the talking on the night yeah. you know yeah. um, mm. and obviously on the 24th of February you'll see a cracking fight 25th Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. But I'll second what Justin's saying there. Nothing but respect. And then, like I say, you know, on the night, thirty minutes, we'll go at it. You know, we'll have it. And then afterwards, you know, the respect is always there. Where you see a lot of these guys carrying on. You know, a lot of fighters they try to bum in all this bravado and you know and they're carrying on. But then afterwards, the best of pals. So what's the yeah. point in the first place? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If I don't yeah. like someone, I'll say it from the beginning and then afterwards, just because we, you know, we fought, you know, you've got a bit more respect for yeah. them, but you know, you still yeah. might not like them. You know, you just be, you know, wear it on your sleeve. This sleeves, is where you? this one's yeah. a bit different mm. because the respect's there in the first place. You know, it's not all a lie or we're gonna do this or we're gonna do that. The respect's there. We're gonna knock lumps out of each other for for ten rounds, and then after the respect will still remain the same. You know. That's yeah, it. that's it. <clears throat> and, and the fans, it's the fans who are winning in this one. You know, the yeah. people, the spectators, the, the, the people who are coming and, uh, and paying their money to watch. Well, that's what we are with prize fighters. That's it. You know, and um, it's only the fans and the spectators who are going to win. Yeah, huge fight, huge fight. And then, uh, you know, literally, you know, we'll, we'll go at it. We'll go out for 30 minutes. You know, Justin's going to try and knock me out. I'm going to try and knock him out. But as long as. We'll go back to his family, safe and sound. You know, that's all that matters. In boxing, it's just business, you know, yeah. but this is important business. It's important business for us both. Yeah. You know, really we're important both, business. We're both so, at this stage in his career now where we want to be propelled on and move on. And, and the winner of this will, will, will do that, you know, maybe move on to English or British title contention. Mm -hmm. And that's where we both want to be. Yeah. So. If Jimmy comes out guns blazing, are you worried that he's going to put you on your back foot? And you're gonna to have to box a different fight from no, the US no, boxing. No chance. The, the, honestly, there's no chance. I, the the mindset what I've got, you know, like I can stand there. His style and my style are sort of similar. This yeah. is just gonna be an all action yeah. fight. We'll stand in the middle of the ring. You know, we've said it before. I'll stand in the middle of the ring with him and, and trade for ten rounds. Not a problem. What you do know? you, Jimmy, think about it? What will happen will be. Whatever will be, will be. 
Um, uh, predictions. Predictions of Jimmy first win. You know, I believe um, my momentum. There's a number of factors why I believe Jimmy first beats Justin Newell. Um, there's goes back to the lockdown. We made the most of lockdown in the Dickies gym. We were doing a lot of things that we wouldn't normally do with, t with, with myself, Callum Simpson, Corey O'Regan, the two Polish girls, Sylvia and Yasmin. We slowed things down and we just worked on a lot of technical stuff. Um, so there's that. Um, the experience in the 10 round fight is going to be massive for me. Um, Justin's not fought for a couple of years. Um, you know, Justin trains hard. Um, you know, he's hungry, he's strong. But I think that's going to be the difference. And my fight with Brian Phillips, I, I had a bad knee for that fight. And uh, I only ran twice. And you saw what an engine I've got from just doing two steady runs. And then my knee went. Um, now is a different thing. My knee's absolutely fine now. So I'm out running, I'm sprinting. Um, and just got the belief there, you know. Do you think? As I'm sure Justin does for him, you know, but that's, you know, I believe that on the night, you know, Jimmy first wins, yeah. Mm. In style. Sorry, what were you going to say? Um, do you <laughs> think that the fact that Justin haven't fought for a while is going to give you a massive edge in the fight? Do you think he's going to have a ring rest that you can take advantage of? Listen, it's... It's very different. You can do as many rounds sparring as you want, but under the lights, it is a, it's a very different thing. And then performing on the night. Uh, I always perform on the night. Um, but I'm not underestimating Justin one bit. Justin's a good boxer. It's a very, very, very tough fight. So I'm not underestimating this man one little bit. Um, but I believe I'll have the edge come 25th of Feb. What do you have to say about it, Justin? I don't know, I think he's explained it all there, like... He obviously believes in his mind that he's going to win. He wants to win and get that. I'm the same, I believe in my mind that, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful here, but I believe I stop you. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, believe, I, I believe I stop you. What? Obviously, what? You've, you've got in your mind that you're going to win, you're going to do this, you're going to mm. do that. Mm. I'm not going to give away tactics. You're not going to give away tactics. It's going to be a good fight. And like I say, the, the fans are winning. In my mind, I believe I stop you. Yeah. Regardless yeah. of having the inactivity, the two years out of the ring, I live a clean lifestyle, I train hard, you know, like yourself. So, we'll see. The thing is, you have to whip me with a sledgehammer to put me down. And then you need to nail me to the canvas to keep me down. This is another okay. thing. What, what and, and people will tell you, I mean, anyone that's sparred me, never been dropped, got a chin, like flipping granite, so you know, you'll. Yeah, what happen? You won't stop me. We'll see. You won't stop me. You will not stop sparring, me. Sparring, sparring. Tell you right here, right now. Right here, right now. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah, you know? we will. And in my we'll, mind, we'll, I believe we'll. that. Yeah. You know, yeah. mentally. You've got to. You've got to. There you go. But it won't happen. Um, it's not happening. Not in a million years. It ain't happening. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as far as I know, because I've been a bit more uh, seeing how Justin trains because I've been training for a really long time in the same camp. I've been seeing Justin running on the treadmill, watching your fights, been putting yeah. all his heart and soul into it. So mm -hmm. I know for sure that he's going to come ready. And as far as I've heard from Mark Dickies that you have the same mentality. So I think yeah. the real winners will be the audience that will. will come and witness the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because there's going to be a proper war and I think you both know that that's it, it's going to be an all action fight the, the styles will clash and they will gel and, and, and like we, well, I said it before that the fans are winning here you know. and you've got to thank the fans as well for coming out you know, and paying their hard earned money and coming to watch and support us you know, because these small old shows that's what it's about, it's about the fans You know, mm -hmm. without the fans then we won't have a chance to obviously earn, earn, earn a living no. Yeah. Can I just ask a question? You've both been about in the local area for a long time. Justin, yourself, been going to different gyms. I've had you in my gym many a time. I've had you yeah. in my gym many a time. Um, I can't believe you never sparred each other. 
Yeah. I know. Listen, I know. I know. Yeah. That is what makes the fight more interesting. It does. Because yeah, you've sparred someone yeah. and you've sort of like got the better of him, you know. Yeah. It's, all, it's been a 50 50 fight. Yeah. Your mind thinks differently when you've never ever sparred with someone or boxed them, you know. So mm. it's going to make for a cracking fight. It's going to be an absolute barnstorm. You know, what? You know right. in Jimmy First, he's never in a dull <laughs> fight. You know, I'm sure Justin did so we've got a, we've got a, You know what as well, like being truthfully honest here, you've got to give Jimmy slight advantage in terms of his recent activity. Like I say, it'll be twenty three months since I last boxed. A bit time I step foot in them ropes, you know. Um and obviously Jimmy's just had a cracking fight with uh, Brian Phillips and he got a good ten rounds under his belt. So yeah, you might give him the slight advantage, but Obviously, on the night, it's going to be totally different. But then again, you're seven years younger, so you can look at that as well. Plus, you watched my fight as well. You were there ringside taking a few notes, as all the Leeds boys were. But it's a different thing on the night, isn't it? It's a it's totally a, different thing. Once you get in there and you get smacked in mouth, as they say. It all goes out of the window. There you, go. you know what I mean? So. Game plan. Mike. Could you tell to the audience in a couple of words what this fight means for Leeds in general and for West Yorkshire? It means a lot. You've got some great kids who are well known in the Yorkshire region, you know, well known up and down the country, in fact, you know, in the boxing circuit. And um, both undefeated, both putting their oars on the line, and it's going to make for a cracking fight, a cracking, cracking fight. From that first bell to the last bell, if it goes to the last bell, if it does go to the last bell... It's not going to the last bell. There could be a draw, you know. We'll see, lad, we'll see, we'll see. But, see. We'll <laughs> see. Yeah. but um, yeah, makes for a cracking fight. And, you know, the both shake hands mm. and have a pint after, you know, yeah. win, lose, a draw. Yeah. Do you both think that this, this is the most difficult fight of your life in your career? Definitely. We both... It's another thing as well. I think we're both really untested. Well... Jimmy got tested in his last fight, but I'm untested at the moment. Yeah. Um, so this is this is another step up for me, and let's see where I'm at. You know, yeah. I want to move on to bigger and better things, but first I've got to take care of Jimmy. Yeah. Um, and as far as I know, this is the first fight where you guys are fighting an undefeated fighter for both of you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is another yeah. thing as well, yeah, and, and we were on about it earlier that if this was maybe on a, a bigger platform, Sky, the Zone. You know, one of them. It'd be a massive fight, yeah. but it just kind of slips under the the radar a little bit because it's on a small old show, you know. Yeah. Um, but thank you to you guys for obviously the back in the media, the coverage. Thank you to Mark obviously for putting the fight on, and uh, he puts on a, yeah. yeah, he puts on a lot of shows. The best shows in Yorkshire, to be fair. In shows. the country, never mind Yorkshire. The small yeah, the country. shows. For fighters, this is where it all happens. This is where it all starts. Yeah. You know, mm. you can't just go on to these big arena shows. You know, you've got to start somewhere. And it's people like Mark what give the kids the opportunity to build on that and go forward. You know, so you've obviously got to uh, thank Bates and Promotions as well. And all the fans. Yeah. All the fans, everyone that supported me throughout my career. You know, can't thank them, can't thank them enough. Yeah. Absolutely, you know, and Justin's fans and like I say, Mark, the fans, Mark puts on be, the best shows. We won't, won't yeah. be able to do it, you know, <clears> because <throat> mm. the fans realistically, obviously, the, the payers are wage as well. That's it. Um, mm. So, yeah, I have to second that and say, you know, thank you to everybody who supported me uh, yeah. through my boxing journey and um, on my boxing career. And, you know, tune in, come down, show your support as well. Um, it's going to be a cracking fight and someone's, mm -hmm. unfortunately, it's sad to say that someone's going to have a blemish on the record, you know. Um, and maybe we're going to see a rematch in the future, who knows? We can't predict the future, get, get but, you know, yeah, get, let's yeah. get the first fight out of the way first because it's uh, it's proved difficult. This is the fourth time that the yeah. fight's been scheduled. Yeah. Um, the first time, obviously, Covid it. The second time it got moved to a different show, that show got pulled. The third time, obviously, my medicals weren't in place and now it's fourth time lucky. Yeah, so, guaranteed it's going on this time. This yeah. is it. Guaranteed. This is it. This is it. Yeah. It's a going down. Fantastic atmosphere. The both sold boatload of tickets. You know, it's going to have a fantastic 
It's not even that, like the undercard fights as well. There's some great kids great on the undercard coming through, coming. you know what I mean? All the tables, I believe, have sold out, aren't they? Sold out. You know, so yeah. there's only standard, you know. We've been uh, weeks tickets through, two time. weeks, they all sold out. Yeah. So that's telling you something about yeah. people interested, not just in theirs, but in everybody else's, but I think mainly their fight. Yeah. I think obviously what's gone on as well with obviously the, the, um, the first fight getting cancelled, then the second fight getting cancelled third fight getting cancelled, it's built some sort of like, I don't know, a bit more hype around yeah, it. Yeah, a bit more, you know yeah, I mean? bit more People interest, are more yeah. intrigued, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They want to mm -hmm. see what's going on. Obviously, people have seen your last performance mm -hmm. and they think, mm, he's going to mm -hmm. be a good fight and this and that because at first people probably didn't know. Yeah, yeah. And obviously yeah. they've seen your fight and they think, oh, well, yeah, well, what about this, what about that? We'll see, but yeah, it's more intriguing now. It's been built a lot better. So, yeah. things happen for a reason. You Unfinished know. business. That's it. Unfinished business. That's yeah. 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 Let so the best man do. win. Yeah. yeah. Alright, 25th February, Ellen Road. Big fight. Legendary night for Leeds, for West Yorkshire, and for boxing in general. Get you guys are ready. And we're now going to do a face off. Yeah. And Not far off, any of just get a bit yeah, closer. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, that's, that's it. it. I mean. Yeah, we're saying we're standing up. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. All right, perfect, Good thank stuff. you. Well done, yes. Well done. <laughs> Cheers, lad. Well yeah, that was good.